Hello friend, Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. I've got some great information from you. I've had a number of folks asking about how to get a Mexican phone number or even a Mexican phone. This video is going to be all about that and you are going to know by the time that we're done in the next few minutes exactly how to do that. But before we get to that, if you would, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's a great community, and I know you want to be a part of it. So it's sort of simple and fast, easy to do. In the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little red box. Tap on it, and you're subscribed. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. That lets other people know it's a great video on retiring to Lake Chapala that they'll want to watch. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and get to the information. Okay, so here is the information I'll be sharing with you in regards to how to get a Mexican cell phone. First, I felt it important to share some information with you and some numbers because I think you'll find this very interesting. In regards to smartphone usage by the numbers, the number of times Americans open their phones daily is 160 times. The average daily time spent by users on their phones is 4 hours and 10 minutes. And the number of smartphone swipes, taps, and clicks that we go through every day is over 2,617. That is absolutely unbelievable. Okay, so here is information that I also found very, very interesting. And that is that 80% of Americans say they check their cell phones within the first 10 minutes of waking up. Wow. 83% of Americans feel uneasy living their phone at home. 52% say that they have never gone longer than 24 hours without their cell phone. Isn't it amazing what cell phones have done to us in technology in these years? 54% of people say that they panic when their cell phone battery gets below 20%. 70% use their phone on the toilet. Okay. 62% sleep with their phone at night. 43% say that their phone is their most valuable possession. And on the average, Americans check their phones 262 times a day. That's once every five and a half minutes. That is unbelievable. Now let's take a look at seniors and social media. And the reason I'm wanting to share this is because those of us that are moving that are expats, for the most part, are seniors. Here it shows that 65% of seniors aged 50 to 59 use social media apps weekly. 57% of seniors aged 60 to 69 use social media apps weekly. And 50% of seniors aged 70 and older use social media apps weekly. Wow. Are we on our cell phones? Okay, so talking about the cell phone use in Mexico. Now, it's important to know that the average user consumes about 4.5 gigs of data per month. Data is consumed when we are browsing the internet, downloading, running apps, checking emails, posting social media, playing games, watching and streaming videos. Now, the Lake Chapala area does not support 5G yet. The highest you can actually get is 4G, and that service is available. So what you'd want to do is choose the phone plan that best fits your option needs. Now, in Mexico, the Packet Amigo plan, which is from Telcel Cell Plan, is what I understand to be to have the better options when it comes to the services features. Now, you can recharge your plan at Telcel or at OXO, 10 to 15 along Lake Chapala, right along here at the lake. The maximum unlimited plan, which is the 5,000, offers unlimited calls, unlimited texting, and 5 gigs of data, which would actually get you per the numbers, the amount of data that you would need. So, let's talk about the two options that you have when it comes to cell phone use in Mexico. If you want to use your present cell phone, 
there needs to be a question asked is, what is your carrier? T-Mobile, AT&T, do you own your phone? Is it paid off? If so, do you know if it's unlocked? That would allow other services to be able and carriers for you to be able to put a SIM card into your phone and utilize it. Does your plan offer service in Mexico? You want to keep a U.S. number. So those that actually keep the present phone number, like Barbara and I, we keep it because we want to have our U.S. number still. You might be happy with your present service. How much do you use your cell phone presently? Want to have the flexibility of still being able to use the phone in the U.S.? So that's using your present phone. If, in fact, you're looking at purchasing a Mexican cell phone, that would be because your carrier won't cover you in Mexico, or your phone's locked, or you're unhappy with your present service. You might be looking for less expensive services with alternative options. So you can buy a phone outright from Telcel for the least expenses of about $50 and the most expensive ones you can spend over $1,000 if in fact you're looking at getting a iPhone or something like that. So this is a picture of what Telcel looks like and these are actually all over everywhere. There are a bunch of them. And you can also get the SIM card at what's called OXO. And OXO is like a 7-Eleven. And I want you to know that there are many, many Telcells. And there are many, many OXOs, as you can see here. Telcel and OXOs are all across Mexico. So now let's tell and take a look at what your options are. So using your present cell phone. So if you, in fact, know your carrier and your phone is unlocked, you can go to an OXO or Telcel and simply buy a Mexico chip. Or you can say to them, SIM card from Telcel simply by saying, Telcel Nuevo Chip Por Favor. That's letting them know that what you're looking for is a Telcel chip, a new chip for your phone. You're going to pay around an activation fee of 100 Mexican pesos or 5 US dollars. You'll want to choose the plan that best fits you. Phone minutes, unlimited, the data, social media, streaming video, what are your needs? And then you'll share your new Mexican phone number with others. Now, if you want to purchase a Mexican cell phone, you would purchase the phone that you would want from a Telcel office. You would buy the phone. Basically, uh, the basic ones are around $50, and you can spend up over $1,000. So you want to make sure it provides the benefits that you're looking for. When you're at Telcel, they will actually install the chip for you before you leave with your new phone. You'll want to choose the plan that best fits your needs and be able to have callers from the U.S. and Canada. When they call you on your Mexican phone, they may incur fees when they're calling your Mexican number. So it's something important to find out. So you want an unlimited plan. You're wanting your data usage. Where are you stand with that? How about social media? How much time do you use your phone for it? Do you use the phone when you're in the U.S.? Do you stream video? So with these questions, you can then go ahead and use your phone here in Mexico. Now again, you can buy your phone at any Telcel office or you can go to OXO for the chip. So what I want to show you here is exactly what you would do if you're looking at purchasing the chip because you're going to be able to use your own personal phone. You will go into an OXO or to Telcel. You'll get your new chip. And you can then see on step one, you are putting your new chip inside of the, basically it's kind of like a drawer. That will actually, in step number two, your chip will fit right inside of that little tray. And then step number three, what you then do is put it into your phone. 
Now, here's what will happen. Once you've done that, your new Mexican number is going to look like this. It will be still the numbers that there's 10 numbers just like you were in the States or in Canada. But when, in fact, you are calling from U.S. or Canada, your callers will need to put in 011 plus 52 plus then your phone number. Now, when you're doing this, it's going to be very, very important for you to let your folks know that if they end up getting a Mexican message, that they want to try you again because sometimes it doesn't go through. So it's really important to make sure that you let them know that they might have to call a few more times. So in basically kind of going back and sharing and finishing up here, you can go to a Telcel office, you can get your chip. You can go to an OXO store and you can get that chip. You can then put that chip into your phone and then you will be able to use your cell phone here in Mexico. That is the simplicity of being able to have a cell phone here in Mexico. So I hope this has been helpful for you. And I know that if your choice is in fact to get a Mexican cell phone and a Mexican number, I'm certain that you will find the plans and the abilities and the features that you're looking for that will give you all of the service features that you will need.